Hello and thanks for tuning in to another BrailleNote Touch Snapshot video. My name is Greg Stilson. I'm Humanware's Product Manager of Blindness Products. In this video we're actually going to show a uh, really slick way to gain access to content from Bookshare. And so we're going to use uh, the BrailleNote Touch in combination with uh, our app, the Humanware Victor Reader app, to read the books. But we're going to use a third-party app done by Bookshare called Go Read, which really is slick to download the books. So the first thing I'm going to do is unlock my brown note touch by pressing space with you. Device unlocked. Main menu. Fast. And Normal. I'm going to slow the speech down a little bit with enter and dot three. Now what I'm going to do is I'm at the main menu and I've downloaded from the Google Play Store uh, the Go Read application. Now I could use the internet, uh, the key web, and go download the book from bookshare.org and log in and things like that, but the app that Bookshare uses is really uh, done extremely well to make it super easy to download books from Bookshare. Um, we're we're going to use the Victor Reader app to read that content in Braille because Victor has really been optimized for a Braille reader. And so what I'm going to do is first go to the All Applications item by pressing A. All Applications. And press Enter. Main Menu All Apps. And at this stage I'm going to press G for Go Read. Gallery. I'm going to press G again. Gmail. And G again. Go Read. There's Go Read. And I'll activate that with the cursor router key. Alert op Go Read Quick Start Bookshare. And it opens up the Go Read mm -hmm. application. It pulls up the Quick Start and somewhere on this screen, I believe, is a option for open navigation. So if I press O, open drawer menu button. There's the open drawer menu. So if I press Enter, it's going to pull up the open drawer. And now I'm just going to cycle with my next thumb key to see what my options are. Bottom, navigation drawer. Navigation drawer. I'm going to press next again. My books. My books. Search bookshare. And there's Search Bookshare. So this is going to be the way that we can quickly access the uh, search feature to look for a book on Bookshare. I'm going to press Enter. Bookshare menu. Title search. And we'll search for a title. So I'll do that right now by pressing Enter. Alert search by book title. Enter book title to be... And I'm going to silence it by pressing backspace and Enter. You heard that rising tone. That means that we're in currently in edit mode. And that's the what's really cool about the Braille Note Touch is that it determines uh, if an app is programmed uh, correctly and basically to know that this next step would mean that I need to start typing something in, the Braille Note Touch recognizes that the app is looking for some information. And so in this stage, I didn't have to activate edit mode or anything like that. I just pressed enter on title search and it automatically says, okay, start typing. So I'm going to look for the F A fantastic N T I S T I C space. Mr. R space Fox. L X. And I'm going to press enter. Bookshare menu. It's now searching. Fantastic Mr. Fox by Roald Dahl. Quentin and Blake. There it is. Fantastic Mr. Fox is the first option right there. I'm going to activate that just by pressing my cursor router key on it. Alert fetching book detail. Book, de book details. And now it says book details if I press next. Title. Fantastic Mr. Fox. And I could read all the information about this book, but somewhere on this screen, and I have no clue where it would be, I would have to flick right on a touch screen a whole bunch of times until I found it. I'm going to press D and find the download option. Download text only. Right there. Button. Download text only. If I press next again, download book with images button. You can download it with images. Is nine and seven. That's download, all there is. Download. So I'm going to do the download the text only option so that we can use that. So I'm going to press enter. Alert download started. And it's book downloading, downloading the book. book three period button and disabled. On the Braille display right now. Book downloaded. Read. And at this stage, it's saying book is downloaded. You saw how quickly that that happened. It was within like two and a half, three seconds. So now the book is downloaded right there. What's really cool about this is I can go to the home uh, to main menu. Main menu. Just by pressing the circle Contacts. button on the front of the device. Heal is. And I'm going to open up Victor Reader. So I'm going to press V. Victor Reader. And press Enter. Fantastic Mr. Fox. And you see that Fantastic Mr. Fox immediately opens up. I, it's also the only book that I have. I could press space with B. Space with B is in bookshelf. Bookshelf menu. And show you if I talking go to books. talking books. I'll activate book that with menu. my router key. And Fantastic Mr. Fox. The only option in this list is the Fantastic Mr. Fox. So I'll activate that again. Fantastic Mr. Fox. And at this stage, I can do a whole bunch of things here with the 
uh, Victor Reader application. First thing I can do is choose how to navigate. So if I press space with T to toggle my navigation level. Navigation level, level menu. I see level, level one, one, level two, level two, page, page. I can choose to go page by page. So let's do that. I'm going to go page by page just by activating that. So now I'm going to use space and dots four six and space and dot one three to navigate forward or back by page. So I'm going to press space four six, space four six again. I see one, two, three, four, five. I can also press space with G to start playing. V, six, Puffin Books. Published by the Penguin Group. Penguin Young Readers Group. And I'm going to stop it reading with backspace and enter. And I can choose to go uh, to a specific page here if I wanted to do that. I can also do enter with G to go to a page. Go to option menu. Go, go to, to option. Heading. I can go to a heading. Go to page. And I'm going to choose to go to page by activating Alert, that. Alert, enter a number. Okay. And let's go Cancel. to page uh, 25. So I'm pressing 2 5, 5. in computer braille. And pressing enter. Page 25. And I jump straight to page 25. I can press space with G to start reading. 25. After about an hour, as the machines bit away more and more soil from the hilltop, it looked like this. Sometimes the foxes would gain a little ground, and the clanking noises would grow fainter and mister. And I can pause it with backspace and enter. And now on my Braille and Braille display, when I actually pause it, I see on my Braille display, sometimes the foxes would gain little ground and the clanking noises would grow fainter and Mr. Fox would say, we're going to make it. So I'm able to read this in Braille if I wanted to, otherwise Space with G would actually put the audio uh, right in there and I could listen to the book itself if I needed to listen to something. So this is just an example of how easy it is to quickly download a book from Bookshare and read it in Braille using many of your familiar Braille note commands that you've used for many years in the book reader from the Braille note um, using the Victor Reader uh, application now which is really optimized for Braille usage so I hope you found this uh, this video useful and you're able to download books uh, extremely easily in the future from Bookshare thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you soon